create motion, you create interest. You're being brought by the wheel on three up to look at him up on two. And he has look off room going towards one. This is rule of thirds. You take any photograph and you divide it into three equal sections. So whether it's vertical or horizontal, when you combine those two lines, you get what we call a tic-tac-toe board. You'll see that the lines that are crossing over create one, two, three, four. Those are your power quadrants. Your subject should ride those lines. So if I have someone standing up on the right hand of the frame, they should be standing up on the line two, four. And the line they stand on is usually determined by where they are looking. So if I put a subject standing on two, usually she'll be looking towards one. If I put a subject standing on one, their head would be looking towards two. That's called look off room. Now we'll talk about the forms of composition. They would be diagonals. They would be C's. They would be vanishing point. This is called the swoosh. Triangles is a symmetry, so it could be a triangle, an oval, those are symmetry, and an S-curve. S-curve is the best form you can have for landscapes. Do you see the S-curve? Here's what we're talking about. Foreground, middle ground, background. Do we have a diagonal in the form of the leg? Is he riding on two, four, looking towards one? So that's what you want. And there's your diagonal. It's actually the wheel that is creating the negative space. This is called frame within a frame. So you have your first grid, your first compositional form is going to be what? There's your frame, there's your second frame, there's your form. She has look off room, right? So frame within a frame, what it does is it immediately creates depth. You're creating layers. A tip of the head is all it takes to create interest in a picture. So although he's riding on one three, it's the tip of the head and the interesting object down around four that creates a photograph. What am I doing here? I'm breaking a rule, aren't I? Isn't she on one, three? Why can I do it? Because the framing element is such a strong element, creative negative space, it still brings you back to her. What do we have? We have a frame within 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 a frame. It has to yield vanishing point. Just draw a line to the base of all the poles. There's the first frame, there's your subject frame, there is all the other frames, and it yields vanishing point every time. That's why we like rows of trees. Swoosh, I mentioned swoosh. It's the strongest thing in my mind for relationship photography. So swoosh is in everything. Look at how her arm and hand are formed. That's the swoosh. I want you to walk out with your form and frame in your mind Really?